Alrighty, vlog 47, I think, of half marathon training. We are coming up to race day here. And I am excited because after this race, I think I'm gonna cut my mileage down for the hotter months to just doing 5K and 10K training. Uh, just because my feet don't deal with the heat very well. And I would like to do some speed work for a while and mix things up. I'm a little bored of just focusing on getting more and more mileage. So I'm gonna take a break from that and then probably keep my long run at about 10 miles every week just so I kind of maintain that level. And then when we get back to the colder months, I'll work on building my mileage again. But I'm here at my running group today and I'm planning on doing four miles. I'm aiming to do a nice, steady, easy four miles without having to take walk breaks if at all possible. However, I stupidly allowed myself to bonk earlier today and I just completely forgot to eat to the point where I was like shaky and weak and dizzy uh, because I got hung up at this thing um, where there was not food as an option. So I'm still not feeling 100% but I've been playing catch up on that all day so we'll see how I actually do on my run. But anyway, um, I will tell you how it went after the fact. Alrighty, run complete. My Achilles felt a little bit off, but it wasn't hurting again. So that's good. I'll have to see how it's feeling tomorrow. See if it's swollen at all. I did manage to make it through my run without taking any walk breaks. But this was also city running where when you're stuck at a stop sign, you're stuck at a, or a stoplight, you're stuck at a stoplight. So <laughs> there was that as far as breaks were concerned. But I think I averaged a pace of 11 minutes, 23 seconds a mile, which is more than a minute below my race pace goal of 12.30 a mile minimum. Um, so that's good. And four miles completed. I actually ended up getting lucky and getting to try the uh, new On Cloud Monsters because they had a uh, some on people here that were doing demo shoes that we got to try out and they were not bad i would actually consider buying a pair of those which is the first pair of ons that i actually would all the rest are just far too firm for me but those are significantly softer um they feel a lot more similar to like the nike react foam of the nike react escape runs that i have which is actually the pair of shoes that i brought with me today to run in but i ended up wearing the ons and actually the ons were more comfortable so they were pretty good and they weren't quite as narrow as on usually tends to run um i actually wanted to do a half size down from the nine and a half that i wore but uh they didn't have any pairs for me in that size so i just wore the nine and a half and they were a little bit extra roomy at the ends of my toes but they were pretty fun. Um, aside from that, I don't have anything else special to report. I managed to make it through the run without passing out from low blood sugar, so that was good. And that's pretty much it. I'm excited to finish up the last of this training block. Thus far, I only had to skip one session this entire training block for this half marathon training, um, and that was entirely because I just got a weird Achilles thing and it was like swelling and hurting and I just figured it's like listen it's probably better just to miss one little three mile run and then get to do the rest of mine till race day than to try to push it and then have an injury before race day so so far I'm thinking that was a wise decision because it's feeling significantly better now and it's not really hurting anymore and I hope it stays that way, so fingers crossed. In the meantime, I hope your running is going well and you have a great day.